black women to be better than everybody. So another fun thing I've learned over the past several days is that not only does society force black women to be better, as in more highly educated, more well-spoken, more in control of our emotions, society also let me know that we need to live perfect lives in order to be treated with dignity and respect and be protected. In order for me to feel and be protected from abuse, um, and this is from the mouths of white women, white men, black men, Cuban men, all kinds of people that I used to follow on this app, is that I need to live a perfect life. I am not allowed to make any mistakes. Nobody told this crackhead this. Nobody told this crackhead this. Nobody told her. I don't know what drugs she took this morning, but nobody told her this. Nobody told her this. Nobody told any individual you got to live perfectly to be respected. Nobody told nobody this. These women come up with new logic every single day. That I used to follow on this app is that I need to live a perfect life. I am not allowed to make any mistakes. I am not allowed to have any infidelities. I'm not allowed to have a single mishap. I'm not allowed to have been caught in a single lie, no matter if it was important or not. I must lead a perfect existence in order to feel protected on this rock that we call earth. Other women can make mistakes. Other people can make mistakes. They, they need to learn. They're young. They're growing. Things happen, but y'all still protect them. Black women, one misstep. Fuck y'all. Y'all don't deserve protection. So, you know, along with being better than everybody still, we have to continue to be better than everybody still, even to be protected. Y'all won't even protect the best of humanity. The fact, I, 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 how did they wake up and they talk this nonsense? Like, where does this come from? Like, where, where, where does this mindset just originate from? Like, you just wake up and you're like, just believing that we got to be perfect to be protected. Who tells anybody you have to be perfect to be protected? And there's black women out here that are protected. That is the craziest thing. That is the craziest thing. I witness it. There are black women that are protected, literally protected. But these same protected black women who are literally protected will get on the Internet. We are the least protected. Nobody protects us and say this nonsense. It's like this. It's like a man who doesn't have confidence. You know, he's choosing not to have confidence. We'd be like, work, work on yourself, man. Work on yourself, man. Just build a confidence. Of you. Confidence is in you. You just don't show your confidence. You just don't be confident. But you have it. You have it. You have confidence. You have confidence. Literally, he can be confident any day he wants. You may say he have to learn and practice it, but it's, it's already in him. The confidence is already in him. He just got to show it. These women wake up every day and have this delusional stuff. They are protected. Everything about their life. Things that's hot, like it's stuff is happening that people are protecting them. Saying, ma'am, don't go over here. Ma'am, are you okay? Open the door for her. Ma'am, you okay? Asking them, are they good? I make videos and they be saying stuff like I go to work and people be asking me why my face looks like this. Like if you at work as a woman and your face look like this, we're going to think something's wrong. Oh, it's just my natural face. This is not your natural face. If your your eyebrows are like this and you looking like this the whole time, that's not your natural face. This is a natural face. This is not my natural face. Because you can literally see my eyebrows doing something and they will sit there and they look irritated. And you and you be like, are you good? Why are you asking me if I'm good? Is it because I'm black? 
Do you think I walk around the world asking every black person, are they good? You literally got to sit there and look at this woman. Do you think I walk around the world and say, hey, black men, are you good? Hey, black women, are you good? I, I, who does this? You ask this woman, are you good, just to see if she's okay. Oh, because I'm black. You ask me if I'm good. They, they, they want to be a victim to everything. I have to be perfect. This woman is overweight. If you so-called believe in this perfect thing, why are you overweight? Why are you delusional? What is wrong with you? If you believe in this standard that you so-called gave yourself, that we say you got to be perfect to be protected, you're not even living up to the standard that you so-called say. You're overweight. You don't take care of yourself. You're delusional. You say irrational things. Somehow, some way, you're at home. You walk every day. You go outside and you're perfectly fine. Who in the world is protecting you? Who in the world is protecting you? Somebody's protecting you because you're safe. Because she's not out here talking about some. Oh, I was attacked. I was officially attacked. No, she what? She walks this planet. Who knows for how many years? Not attacked, not abused, but she feel unsafe. Think about this, guys. She walked this planet, not attacked or abused, but she feels unsafe. Think about it. How does that make sense? You walk this planet, you go outside, you go to the marketplace, you go home and you perfectly fine, but you feel like, oh, I'm unsafe. W what makes you think that? Ah, I just feel unsafe. Like it doesn't, black women, black women, please. This unsafe narrative that y'all like to push on yourself, the least protected, that are, it's, it gets tiring. It gets tiring. It gets tiring. It gets tiring because we try to make sense of when y'all say that. Nobody asks y'all to be perfect. Damn near nobody asks y'all to be logical because y'all emotional creatures. But this narrative that y'all unsafe and y'all unprotected and y'all all this and stuff like that, for y'all to have this victim mentality, it is crazy and annoying. And we sit here, we wonder what's going on with their mental. Are they good today? You go to work and people ask you, are you okay? It's because I'm black. I asked the white woman, was she okay before you? I asked the Asian woman too. I asked them and they say, no, oh, Sean, thank you. you know, I'm fine. How are you? I asked you and you told me some, oh, you, you just got to ask a black woman. I asked every woman this in this job. I go to my job. I talk to the black woman in my job. I say, good morning. I go to the Mexican woman. I say, good morning. Every single day, I'm consistent with this greeting. If they look unhappy, I ask, are you okay? Are you good? That's a natural human thing to do. Black women, it's a natural human thing to do. You, the ones that sit here and people ask you, are you okay? And you attribute that to people asking you like, oh, because I'm black. It's because you on drugs. Because other women sit here and accept this greeting and say, no, I'm fine. You know, I just had a lot, you know, this morning was rough, you know, but I'm good. That's how you, you respond. But when you sit here and think it's because I'm black, they just, we just can't be chilling and stuff like if y'all don't want to, if y'all want to detach from society and believe everybody hates y'all, that's a personal thing. But again, I greet the black woman in my job every single day. I greet the older woman that's Mexican every single day. I greet both of them every single day. Both of them every single day. It's a normal thing. But for some odd reason, black women make everything that you, the interaction, oh, look at this guy trying to do this. Like, it gets, it gets, I see why passport bros exist. I'm sorry. I see why they exist. I only date black women. I know the struggle. So I understand why the passport bros exist. It's not easy passport, bro. They're going to have, they're going to sit here and bash y'all and talk about y'all and stuff like that. But I see why y'all exist. Nonsense I hear sometimes. It's nonsense I hear sometimes. You know, because it, it, some of this conversation is, 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 is ignorance. It's just straight ignorance. To greet them, they're upset. To greet them. <laughs> to ask if they're okay, they're upset. Making TikTok videos. Why they got to ask us if we okay? Ask you if you okay? You didn't ask her if she, I, I did. I asked her, was she okay? I will ask my mother if she okay, if she had a face, same face you had. If she looked like you, I would have said, are you okay? Because the face you're making, you're making a face. It's just my resting. No, it's not. It's, it's no, no. 
you're doing something to your face. And it's just, it's, it, guys, like I said, we, I see why passport process is, man. It's exhausting. I won't lie. It just, just you, you, you don't, much, you just try to understand, like, what are we doing? What, what's going on? Like, and you you want us to deal with this? Like, no, guys are tired. Guys are exhausted. Guys don't want to deal with it. Y'all have this crazy delusional mindset. The word delusional be going viral for so long because y'all literally keep showing us this. We are tired. We are exhausted. We try to make sense of it. Y'all don't make sense of it. And we move on. We say, forget it. It's not going to work out. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. Y'all agree with me on this. But there's some things that are age appropriate. We agree. She goes 